<laughs> Howdy folks, it's the smallest power station I've ever had in here, but it's 300 watts. So it, as you saw, it ran the fan, but it's, it's actually quite a powerful little unit and it's a nice gadget. So we're gonna take a look at this today and do a review on it. Uh, Egret Tech uh, sent this over weeks ago and we've been like testing it and running it with uh, charging up off of solar panels and then discharging it to see how it does and things and just sort of taking a good look at the product itself overall and just getting a feel for you know how good is it and the very first thing you notice of course is it for a power pack it's it's fairly small and ideally it was really i think constructed for the idea of camping rving you know that sort of thing uh, and hiking because you even get a leather strap here with it so you can maybe put it in your backpack or put it on a shoulder strap and you know carry it around with you or something when you're going somewhere but ideally it's nice because you can charge it the usual three ways you can charge it at the house you can charge it in the car on a cigarette lighter plug or you can charge it off a solar package solar panels generally uh, they didn't i couldn't find a specific wattage but uh, I noticed that when we were charging off solar, we were running somewhere between 75 and 100 watts uh, to charge it up. So it doesn't pull a lot of power. So even a small set of panels or something, you could fully charge this baby up in a few hours. So that's, you know, that's a good thing. The uh, package is really tight here. We've got the 110 outlet at 300 watt, which will run quite a few things, you know, besides charging a laptop. It'll run some pretty strong lighting and also I think one of the things that really hits me and hits home with anybody that I don't care if you live in an apartment, a condo, a home, or you're just RVing or whatever it is, if you want to say have internet and the power's off for some reason, you can power your modem up with with this because you have 110 power and it would probably run a long time on, on a modem. But um, the idea is that you have emergency backup power for at least communications, maybe a TV set, whatever it is you, you know, feel you need. Or in some cases, uh, a small, small portable refrigerators or coolers. I've heard somebody say that they could keep it going for, I think it was seven hours or something off of this. That was a small cooler, but it would keep their food cold while they were uh, out of power or whatever was going on at the time. Or camping. Uh, so the next thing I want to take a look at is, is the features. Basically the 110. It has a power on, power off button of course. It also has a uh, button to turn on and turn off the AC that's outputting here. You also have the two USBs, the nice standard good old fashioned USBs. And then we have these, uh, the new ones which are, I guess we'll call them the USB, was it 3.0 or whatever. I, th this has really confused me in the industry when they did this and I, I sort of don't like it, but it's like, it's new. So like, yeah, this is the way it is. And we also have two of these type of outputs here. Now these can go with the cigarette lighter plug and or, uh, in my case, I have uh, an XT60 cable, which is also converted to a regular plug that will plug into these units. And these are come in different sizes. So you have to kind of pay attention to what you got for size, but you can charge this through that off the solar package, which I really like. I like free electricity off my solar. <laughs> really like that. Um, lithium ion so that's one of the reasons it's it's heavy because it comes with the batteries of course in there and their lithium ion is not too bad they have weight they're not as bad as the uh, phosphate type the uh, iron phosphate batteries those buggers get heavy <laughs> but it still still has a lot of weight carries quite a bit of weight the general uh, item here is just that it's so small and compact and I think that's you know, the, the biggest feature of this one is it's small, it's compact, but it still offers 300 watts. And 300 watts, like I say, it's, it's quite a bit of power. You can do quite a bit with 300 watts. The other thing it has, of course, is the regular, uh, the flashlight built in. Kind of an interesting one because it's more like a lantern type. And again, this sort of hits more towards uh, camping, RVing, that sort of thing. But if you're at an apartment or a condo or something and you have power out and you want some light, this sort of light, let's see if we can get her on. Whoops, I think we have, you know, see if we can uh, turn it on first. Uh, this has a nice set of lights. That, that's a, it's a nice, like a lamp kind of thing. And you can, you know, turn the brightness up if you need it. But you can just get a nice general lamp light going, which, you know, it's kind of comfortable compared to having a flashlight in your face or something. So price-wise, it's on sale. That's one of the reasons I've got it here today but let's take a look at what it comes with i'm going to close up on uh, things a little bit here and we'll take a look at the package the total package what comes in the box yeah well to answer the very first question how heavy is it well it's there's here it is on the scale 
and it's running 4.12, 4, 4 pounds, looks like 4 pounds, 12 ounces. Yeah, you may as well say five pounds by the time you get the gear together. It's, like I said, it's heavy, you know, don't kid yourself. So in the box, besides getting the panel itself, and I've already had this one out for testing, so that's why it's out of the wrapping, but it came in this box. Also get a nice manual, and this is the leather strap kit, and it shows you how to install it properly. But you also have, there's another strap here, and this is a long strap that you can put, like a shoulder strap you can put, so you can carry this bad boy over your shoulder, and or just have a handle strap like that. Also underneath this is four rubber feet. So it can sit nicely on something and, you know, with the rubber feet, it helps so it won't, you know, glide around or whatever, especially if you're like an RV or a boat or something moving around. Really thick manual, but again, it's just, it gives you all the different features and explains all the different ways you can hook this thing up. But charging wise, this is the very first most basic way to charge, obviously on the cigarette lighter plug. Now, my solar system has a uh, cigarette lighter plug that I set up for some of the other systems. So we just push this in and then plug it in. Now, there is one of these two here that you're going to put this in that's going to say M, input. And that's because that's going to be your charge going into this unit. And that's something you want to pay attention to because obviously you want to charge the thing up when you want to charge it. Now, this one is spring-loaded and because of the wattage, it didn't get hot. Some of them have in the past getting, you know, sort of heat up on me a little bit and I don't like that. That's the only thing I have against this type of idea is because if you're in a car or an RV or something and you plug this in, you don't want a lot of, you don't want so much heat that you have a wire failure or even a, you know, well, <clears throat> you know, something bad happen. Now, the other operations they give you here is they get you a power brick with again, the same, you know, input connector. And also they give you the uh, cable for the power brick. So that's great. And then there's a nice little uh, a part of that shoulder strap. There's a padding here that can go on the shoulder strap kit if that's what you, you know, if that's the way you want to carry it. And also we have the USB. The uh, USB, the 3.0 or Thunderbolt type cable. I've heard this thing called so many different things now. I'm, I'm getting confused, but yeah, it's not a data cable. It's obviously, it's for power, but it, you know, it's a USB 3.0, the new style. And, uh, this is, uh, let me get my glasses on here for a second. So the actual input on this one is this top one right here. So if you're using a cigarette lighter plug, you would plug it in here and then push this into your cigarette lighter. Uh, also, if you use the power brick, it would be the same thing. It would plug in here. Anytime you're bringing something into this unit to charge it up, you're going to be using just this one here for your input in order to charge up the, uh, the unit. So there's the box. There will be a link provided in the description below where you can find this bad boy. But the thing is, is it's nice to have just some kind of power backup plan, especially with today with the electric companies being a little bit on and off. This thing here will give you at least the basics. Like I said, you can charge your phone, uh, charge your laptop, run a pl small appliances. That 300 watts of power will get you somewhere. This is the Plume 300 model from Eager Tech and they have other models, but this one here is a nice portable model. And I think they were looking more towards RVs and campers, but when I really got thinking about it today, uh, you know, in today's world, yeah, having some kind of even small bit of, of, of backup power for when you need it, this is not really a bad thing at all. It's almost like, you know, this is something that around the house can uh, really save your butt, you know, from growing crazy one night. <laughs> The description link below, uh, hopefully we will have a discount coupon. We're supposed to have some kind of discount sale price on this baby. Uh, I'll write it up until I think the about the uh, middle of July. So we're trying to get this video out so that we can get this on there so you guys can take advantage of the sale price if you're interested in, you know, having some kind of power backup. It, the, the, the applications are pretty much unlimited too. It's always good to have some AC power around for something, you know, or just being able to charge up something. Uh, especially for me, like my cameras, my phones, and uh, even my lighting systems and stuff. A lot of times I can get power what I need off of something like this. It's, wow, totally handy. In the meantime, uh, and we will be giving that away uh, to a viewer in the coming future. Right now we have a giveaway coming up. So we're going to switch over to the giveaway, which is the uh, Goner's four and a half inch, you know, bench vise that's available on Amazon. And I'm going to bring that over here now. And we'll have a, we're going to have a draw. Yes. And it's going to be somebody who's a viewer is going to get a vice. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, here it is, the four and a half inch Gorner bench device that was sent over for review and we took a look at. It, it is a nice tool. It's also available in sale, priced at Amazon. So I will give you a link in the description below where you can find this little guy. And it's a, it's just a good size. I think for most, you know, average workshops for the do-it-yourself or whatever, this is something you you need it on your bench. You just, it's just, it's just got to have it, you know, kind of thing. So we're gonna draw for this today and see who gets it. I've got all the tickets cut up, all the names went to the uh, coffee can this morning. So we're looking good there. We're going to shake the coffee can up to see who <laughs> who gets it. Really strange. Uh, we got entries, multiple entries from a lot of different states. Only one entry, I think it was, from Texas. Yeah, and he knows who he is because he's a good guy. I know where he's at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he was the only one to put his name in for it. In the whole state of Texas, we usually have quite a few entries from Texas and yeah, not this time around, so it's like, wow. I'm gonna mix these up a little bit better. Like I said, I always wanna take, give everybody the best possible chance to get something off the show. That's a big ticket, but uh, let's go with, uh, wow, Johnny Blair. Okay, uh, Johnny in Newcastle, Indiana. That baby's yours. Johnny, I'm gonna put this in a priority box and get it shipped out to you right away. And uh, congratulations and thank you, Johnny, for entering the contest and we've got more stuff giving away. So you can always enter for the next item too. I said I'm not gonna limit it to one one person per whatever. No, we're not, dude, we're not like that. No, no, no. Everybody has a crack at, at whatever it is we're giving away. So again, I'm gonna thank Gorner for sending this over to us because Gorner is, this is a nice, basic bench vice that'll get you through. And Johnny, wow. Normally I don't give out the last name, but I, I figure that that shouldn't hurt today. Uh, try to keep it as fairly anonymous as possible. But anyways, up there in Newcastle, Indiana. I thought Newcastle was in Pennsylvania, but I guess they have one in Indy. Yeah, they have one in Indiana, who knew? Anyways, yeah. Let's get to the next item because we're gonna give something away. Yeah, so for next Thursday, we are drawing four, and we reviewed these. This is from Graph. These are wood carving discs that go on your angle grinder. And you can mount one of these on your angle grinder, and I think one of the uh, viewers says something about they are hungry for wood. They, they look hungry. They do. They, they, they can chew up some wood in pretty pretty big hurry. But if you, especially if you're into carving, or even if you have to notch out something and you know, or make a little custom cut or something like that on wood, these are pretty amazing and they're a really nice product. I really like graph stuff in the past has always shown to be good quality. So I'm like, yeah, you know, so I'm going to give away the flat and the curve as a set to a viewer. So how do we get in on that? Well, to get in on the contest, all you have to do is email me at ctrewards at gmx.com. And in the, uh, let's see, one, uh, one entry per household. In the subject line of your email, just write uh, disc. You gotta keep it easy, right? Disc, D-I-S-C, so that we know that you're entering for that contest. Also, uh, in the body of the email, just your name and address. That's all we want, that's all we need. And when we uh, get the show, such as today, when the draw was finished, uh, we delete all the email box. We totally clean it out. Also go into the deleted files and the history files and clean everything and delete all of it. so that. Even the NSA can't find you after that, okay? So nobody gets that information, no. And in the meantime, uh, next Thursday, we'll draw, and there'll be a lucky winner. That will, I will mail these both out to a viewer. Can't beat that, right, you know? Meantime, uh, I'm gonna try to get out of here. Uh, again, I gotta thank Egret Tech for sending this uh, Plume 300 watt power supply over, or power station, uh, if you like, or power pack. Uh, and in the near future, we'll be giving this away to a lucky viewer as well. So you need to stay tuned <laughs> for all that. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, and check in on us because I try to try my best to give away stuff like this every week or every couple of weeks. You know, the, just do the best we can, right? And thank you all, and God bless for watching, and I'm out of here. Over and out. <laughs>